Hey guys and welcome to the show. So we're back at the top-down warplane game and I'd say one of the biggest frustrations we had at this point was all the planes, they go at the same speed. And because of this, it's very difficult to get any sort of advantage on, on any of the enemies. So today what we're going to be doing with the select screen, we're going to be randomizing some properties, maybe health, uh, speed, the rate at which we can rotate to give us a bit of an advantage or even a disadvantage over the enemies. We're going to be following a very similar process to the one we used when selecting the sprites. So basically we're going to be using some globals and as soon as we hit play, it's going to be applying those globals to the player object. So let's jump straight into the code and see how we can make this happen. So just a reminder, if you like this video, please subscribe and also hit the notification uh, bell so that you'll get a notification when the next part is up. I really do appreciate the support. To start off, let's go to the room. Let's go to the choose room. This is where we actually set up some, some little bits. Uh, most of the stuff is already set up. The only thing we're using is the global sprite. <clears throat> but now we wanna we wanna expand on that. So I think the, the, the properties we want to look at is I'm thinking speed, I'm thinking hit points, um, rotation, that's a good one. Um, some planes can turn tighter than others. And uh, the shoot speed, you know, some of them maybe have a have a better gun. So let's let's create those. Um, HP setting. Ooh. And the speed setting. Now I want to randomize this. Uh, nice. And then we can use a uh, random range. Let's actually go and see what we were setting these to originally. They should be in the parent, which is object plane. Okay, so the first one we're looking at is the speed. Speed we had set to 10. So let's randomize between, um, let's say a low end of eight and upper end of like 14. Then hit points, we had 100, I think. So let's say some planes have maybe a sturdier build. So let's go for anything between 75% and 110%. Rotation speed, we had that at three. Okay, so three I think is okay. I don't wanna go below three, it just is a bit of a nightmare if it turns too slowly. So let's say between three and five. In this case, uh, the values on the right are the more desirable. So more health, faster speed, greater rotation. And shoot speed we had at 0 0.1, let's say um, 0 0.08, so a bit slower, 0 0.3. There we go. Okay, what's this complaining about? I need to say random range. Okay, so just like that, we've, um, we've set those up. So to default, let's actually just... Um, Let's default the very first guy. Can I do this? Oh yeah. Okay, so that's speed. So that means our initial, um, our default will be set to the very first time this runs which uh, should coincide with the first sprite that will be selected and will start rotating. Now I'm actually gonna go into the selector so we don't forget about this. But let's, let's, grab, um, let's grab these. Well, let's grab this whole lot for reference. Let's go to the selector. There should be a mouse there that we get left pressed. And let's paste them in here. So we've got these globals again. Let's paste them over there. And I think that's actually fine, right? Sprite index I. Oh, we've got sprites already. Speed setting, HP setting, because these these properties will now exist on the selector if we've done the the create event on the choose property. That's these guys. So actually, that's all right, and we don't need this anymore. And we can close room choose now because we've got um, <clears throat> these values set up like this. We don't want the player inheriting the same values from the parent. We can actually move those values, you know, uh, speed, HP, rotation, uh, shoot speed from the the parent over here. So that was, I think that, shoot speed. I think it was these four. Let's grab those out of there. Let's actually put them straight in the enemy because the player is going to be getting them from somewhere else. Uh, we can put them anyway. Just over there. And now we mustn't forget that the player 
needs to get these settings from here. And let's just double check that we've got them right. HP, yeah, that's great. Okay, so in our choose, let's grab those globals again. And instead of hard coded values, we're going to say speed setting over there, HP setting over there, rotation speed right there, shoot speed right over there. That should inherit everything nicely. Now to be sure that this is actually all working, I think in our selector we should probably draw these uh, these settings out. Let's add a draw event. Um, we need to draw self. Did our player player already inherits, right? Yeah. That's okay. Put these together. Back to the selector. We actually don't need this room. Okay, so I want to say draw text. I'm just going to be using default fonts. 100. Um, we want to draw the speed. Which is going to be speed. And we're going to build this string up. String uh, speed setting, I think we called it. Let's do 125, 150, 175. Should be spaced out enough. So we've got speed, we've got hit points, we've got rotation, and we've got shooting. And let's go back to get those property names exactly from here. Okay, so we had a speed setting, here we've got an HP setting, rotation speed setting, shoot speed setting. So now those should um, tell us and show us that there is some variety on the select screen. So we're setting the properties up to random values in the choose, we're making sure that applies to each selector. When we click that selector, it's updating the globals, which then, because that's going to send us off to the next screen, would mean that when those globals are applied to object plane in the uh, so not play the object player in the create event we will have them so we'll be able to go between the game world back to the select screen um, maybe we can choose a slower plane to see that our enemies uh, will be faster than us so let's fire this up and see what happens okay so i think this is looking good so far shooting looks a bit funny but speed 10 speed 10 speed 8 speed 11 speed 13 this one's got 97% health, all the way up to 103%, that's great. Rotation, three, okay, so we've got a couple things to fix. Firstly, let's go to the selector. I think we had a typo. And the shoot speed setting didn't seem to work. It said something funny, oh, we've got a space here for some reason. Let's get rid of that. Shoot speed setting, hmm, back to choose. Shoot speed settings, probably because we said I random range. We just need random range. That's better. Let's fire this up again. Because I random is integer, whole numbers. Perfect. Cool. Shooting 0, 8, 23, 14, 16, 21. I'm not sure which one's faster or slower. I think the bigger the number, the slower it shoots. Um, so let's choose the biggest one, 23. Speed 10. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's quite slow, hey? Whoa, that guy's shooting way faster than we can. Everyone else is way better. Then us at this point. Let's go back. Let's choose, uh, let's see, 14. That guy's quite quick. This red one's also very quick. Short um, shooting speed here, so it means he can shoot really fast, and he's very quick, and he's got lots of health. Rotation, 5. Wow, this thing can really turn quick. Look at that. Now this is a quick plane. And when we come up against an enemy, we'll see how quick we can outmaneuver them, outgun them. Look at that. We can even outfly them. Goodbye, enemy. We're going way faster than you. So things like this add a bit of variety. They can't keep up with us. We can turn on a dime. Come in for the kill. Sweep away. We have, what, 3% 3, 3 more health, which isn't a big deal. But this plane is, is better than those planes in, in every way because of the properties it's got. And, um, 
yeah, these will keep randomizing. See, it's a nine now. If we go into it again, 10, it changes depending on those uh, randomized extremes. So if you found this tutorial education unhelpful, please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe if you want more quality content just like this. Project files can be found in the description. Also, if you like what I'm doing here and want to see more and um, support this channel, you can check out my Patreon. There's a link in the description below. Until next time, happy coding, and I'll see you then.